Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Farjana. Welcome to my Elementor Advanced Tutorial. Sometimes we need to create some global field for our website and we need to apply that field to in different places. For example, here I will set the phone number and some contact information from the options page. And I have set this phone number as global and also I have added this phone number in different places like in the header area, in contact page and also in the footer area. And now if I change the phone number from our options page, for example here if I change the last two digit to 99 and now if I save it and when I refresh our page, we can see the phone number is changed on the header area and also in the contact page section and also in the footer area for this tutorial i'm going to use elementor and z engine plugin z engine plugin is a plugin of croco block now let's see what's the z engine plugin and what's the croco block croco blocks is an advanced set of z plugins which will work for elementors and gutenberg if i see their product list here we'll find sets of plugins so they divided their large plugin into some smaller plugins so your site will not be overloaded for example if you need a booking website that case you can install the jet bookings and for designing purpose you can install some more plugins from here but you need not to install all this plugin that case and your site will not be overloaded and from here if i check their pricing they have four type of pricing list one is for free and you will get some feature for free and for all this advanced widget here is three packages you can select any one if you have one website then you can purchase their all-inclusive plan so this will be 130 per year and if you have unlimited website then you can purchase the another one and also they have their lifetime package so if you work for many clients and if you work for different kind of website that case the lifetime packages will be a great investment for you for example if you work for at least 10 clients in your lifetime so that case you will invest less than hundred dollar per website but of course, if you are a developer, you will not work only for 10 clients or 10 websites. You will work 100 plus website, 1000 plus website, and you will charge several thousand for this website. And using this plugin with Elementor, we can create any kind of advanced website. For that, you can easily charge 1000 bucks. And finally, if you think you still did not all these widgets or all these plugin, you only need to install one plugin or several plugin. That case you can purchase as a single item. For example, if I go to the Jade Engines, you can purchase the Jade Engine plugin only for $26. That's cool. All right. For this tutorial, I'm going to use their Jade Engine plugin. Now let's go ahead and without any further ado, let's get started. And also, so far you see, if you think this tutorial adds some value to you, please give this video a big thumbs up, otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time. And if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. For this website, I have already installed JetEngine plugin. I will leave this plugin link in my description so you can check it from there. After installing and activating Jade Engine plugin from the dashboard if I go to Jade Engine and here is the options options page now I'm going to create our first option page add new and page title for example here I'm going to create a options page where we'll add some field for contact information so here I'm typing contact info and page slack contact info and menu name contact info or we can change this name to a different one then parent page we can select any page as parent i'm leaving it for now and the menu icon by default this is the menu icon for settings page as we are creating the contact information so here we can change this icon to a different one 
like here I'm selecting this one and accessibility manage options we can leave it and menu position we can set the menu position in any place for example here I am selecting after the dashboard fast separator and now if I go to the add page we can see after the dashboard here is a new item created contact info and if I go here so this is a new page and here we have to create some field for this option page so going to options page again and here we need to create some fields going to add field first I'm going to create the phone number I'm typing phone number and name and ID it's by default object type field field type from here we can create different kind of input field for example first I'm selecting the text and field width we can keep it 100% or I'm making it to 75 and character limit I'm leaving all as it is default value all right I'm going to update this page and now if I refresh our options page we can see the phone number field is showing and now in the similar way I'm going to create some more fields like here I'm going to create email we can leave it as text format and with 75 percent we can set it required or not conditional logic okay I am leaving all as it is and also going to create another one for address and typing address and field type I'm selecting the text area and with 75 percent keeping all as it is and finally update this page and now if I go to refresh this page you can see here is the new two field email and address now I'm going to fill all this field with some dummy information and save it now I'm going to set this information to our website for example this is our website now I'm going to add the phone number on the header area and also going to add some information on footer and also in the contact page so let's go ahead I'm going to the Croco blocks and theme builder if you are using the Elementor Pro so that case you can go from Elementor Pro theme builder for now I'm using the Croco blocks so here I'm going to the theme builder and going to our header layout and here is our header I'm going to edit with Elementor and now on the right side I'm going to add our global phone number going to add new here I'm searching for dynamic field I'm taking this one and source from here I'm selecting options and the options here will be the phone number and also from here I'm selecting a icon for phone I'm taking this and now going to add some style with this text from style tab all right I am done and now going to save this page now I'm going to add this phone number and contact info to our footer and contact page so for that again going from the theme builder going to footer going to edit with Elementor and now I'm going to make the address phone number and email to dynamic field so for that going to the address first and here it's coming from an icon box widgets and now I'm going to title and description going to dynamic tags and from here I'm going to options and from select I'm selecting the address alright so now it's coming from our options page we can also set this address from dynamic fields element and also going to do the same for the phone number going here dynamic tags going to options and from here selecting the phone number and also going for the email going to dynamic tags options and email all right I'm done and now going to update and here one more thing we can set our email and phone number as clickable link so for that from the options page 
for phone number instead of the direct phone number i am setting with the link so this will be clickable number so when someone click on the phone number it will be redirected to that phone number and also for the email instead of the normal email i'm adding the email with a link and now if i save and now if i refresh our website you can see this phone number is clickable and also for the bottom the phone number and email is clickable and now i'm going to add the same information to the contact page so here i want to add the phone number here address and email so going to edit with elementor and now going to the phone number and going to dynamic fields options changing it to the phone number also going to the address making it dynamic options and address also for the email dynamic tags options email all right i'm done and finally save this page going back to the view page and now if i change any field like the phone number so i'm going to the options page and from here the phone number if i change the phone number to all zero zero for example here i'm setting all this to zero and now saving it and now if i refresh our contact page all right now you can see the phone number is changed on header and it's also changed on the contact page and also in the footer that's cool all right that's all for today if you find this tutorial helpful give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally if you like to work with me for any wordpress project you can contact me through my website thank you for watching see you in the next video